hello friends in this concept video we will see ratio the error problem means we have to distribute something in some different ratio but by mistake we have distribute in different ratio so we can say it's error problem or by mistake distribution problem before solving the questions let's check the concept say we have to divide a sum i don't know what is the value of sum in two different persons a and b the ratio should be the ratio of 2 is to 3 but by mistake but by mistake it is divided into 1 is to 7 ratio then how we solve these type of question if we have some other values or we have to solve from this data we know a sum means sum is a constant for the should and sum is the constant for mistake a sum should be divided in 2 is to 3 and the same sum should be divided into 1 is to 7 so what do you mean by ratio 2 and 3 we can say a got 2x b got 3x and a got y by mistake and b got 7y both are the two different ratios so we have to take two different multiplication factors so the total sum here is nothing but 2 plus 3 is the 5x 1 plus 7 is the 8y so we have to say we have same values 5x and 8y so we can say 5x is equal to 8y so x upon y is nothing but 8 upon 5 so we can say we can take x is 8 y is 5 so we can say 5 into 8 that is x is 8 for the y we could take 5 so 8 into 5 the value becomes 40 the value becomes 40 so our sum becomes same means we want to merge the value with condition the summation is same so this is the way how we merge the ratio we get the value of 5 and 8 just the summation of this one is 8 summation of this one is 5 so we multiply 8 in all not only in the 5x we multiply 8 in all this becomes 16 this becomes 24 the summation of this is 5 so we multiply 5 in both that is 5 is to 35 is our the same ratio with the different values to make the total sum is same because it's nothing but a constant sum question i hope this one is clear to you Let's understand with another example. A, B, C. The should ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3. And by mistake ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 5. So how we merge the ratios and to make a simple ratio. The summation of should is nothing but 6. So we multiply 6 here. The summation of this is nothing but 10. So we multiply 10 here. This becomes 10, 20, 30. A new ratio term. This is 6. That is 12, 18 and 30 is the new ratio term the summation of all should be same and what is the summation summation of all is nothing but the cross multiplication of the product that is 6 10 60 so the summation of all by mistake or by should is nothing but 10 so whenever we have a question by mistake ratio distribution we take the summation of should cross multiply summation of mistake cross multiply we'll get a new ratio of the should and mistake we'll solve the question according to the data given i hope this one is clear now start with questions so this is our question number one rupees 1320 should be distributed in three persons a b and c in the ratio of 236 but by mistake it was distributed in the ratio of 345 then find the profit and loss of each person we have rupees 1320 that should be distributed that should be distributed in a b and c in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 6 means by mistake what happened distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5 then we have to find the maximum profit loss of each person we know a sum is distributed means the sum the total of a b c should be and the total of all mistakes are the same so we can say the total of a plus b plus c in the should be and the total of a plus b plus c in the mistake should be same so what is the total of should be 2 plus 3 plus 5 means total here is 11 what is your total here 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12 so we just need to merge the total because the total are the same so we multiply by 12 the cross multiply of the total because total is same that is nothing but 11 so we can say a b c the ratio is the same but the value is different that is 24 36 and 72 what is here 33 44 and 55 so the total of a b c in should be and mistake is what if we add the total is nothing but 132 or we can say it is nothing but the product of 11 and 12 product of should and mistake the total now is 132 
So here the total of ABC and total of mistake is 132. So A should get 24 and it's getting 33 means A is in the profit of rupees 9. If the total is 132, B should get 36 but getting 44 means B is in the profit of plus 8. A is in the profit of plus 9, B is in the profit of plus 8, it means C should be in the loss of 17. Because the total profit loss should be 0 if we divide money among few peoples. But plus 9 plus 8 and minus 17 is for the 132. We want 1320 means we need to make 1320 means what we have done nothing but multiplication by 10 so we need to multiply it by 10 because it's nothing but the ratio values all four are the ratio values if 132 then 9 132 then 8 132 then minus 17 that is loss so if 1320 it becomes 90 if 1320 it becomes plus 80 means plus 90 plus 80 and minus 170 so age in the profit of 90 B is in the profit of plus 80 C is in the loss of minus 70 I think it is clear how I did the same it's nothing but the unitary method if 132 then it's plus 9 if it's 1 then it's nothing but plus 9 upon 132 if it's 1320 it's nothing but this into 1320 that is nothing but 90 or we can say if we multiply by 10 in the first ratio our ratio should be multiplied by 10 so this is our answer of the first question so the profit of A is 90, profit of B is 80 and C is in the loss of 170. I hope this one is clear. Or we can divide 1320 in the first 236, then 345 and check. But solving either problem, the best one is merge the should and mistake by cross multiplying the values. I hope this one is clear. Now check question number 2. Question number 2. If a sum is divided into 3 persons A, B and C in ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 but by mistake it is divided into 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 then find maximum error with respect to what should they get here the sum is not given but the sum is same for the mistake and should so we can say we have three persons a b and c the should value means what should be is nothing but 3 is to 4 is to 5 and mistake value is nothing but 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 5 so here it's again a fractional value so we should change it into integer value the lcm of 3 4 5 is 60 so multiply by 60 by multiplying by 60 we will get 20 15 and 12 this is our mistake value so we have should ratio we have mistake ratio check the summation of should summation of should is nothing but 12 check the mistake of should mistake of should is nothing but 47 so we need to cross multiply by 47 in should and 12 in mistake so our new ratio which is same as the previous one but the different values why the different values to get it summation same is nothing but 141 188 and 235 this is the new values for the should now check the mistake we have 12 that is nothing but 240 180 and 144 so we merge the ratio of the should and mistake a should get 141 but getting 240 means A is in the profit and profit of 99 rupees what about the B 188 and 180 means B is in the loss and loss of 8 rupees 235 and 144 or we can say plus 99 minus 8 that should be minus 91 to make it profit loss 0 because distribution is within the group so this is our profit and loss value but the question is find maximum error with respect to what should they get maximum error means always a percentage value so we check the error for the a the error with a is 99 and we need to find with respect to we learned the 2 is nothing but denominator with respect to what should they get but means should should be in the denominator 99 upon 141 is 100 and this value is nothing but 70.21 percent this is the error percent of A. Check the error percent of B. Error of B is 8, though it is in negative means loss with respect to the previous value that is 188 in 200. And this is nothing but 42.55 percent. Check the error value of C. Error with C is 91 minus sign shows the loss. So 91 with respect to the previous value they should get is 235 in 200. That is nothing but 38.72 percent. So the maximum error is 
with a and this value is 70.21 percent i hope this one is clear first we should merge the value by adding the should value and mistake values and cross multiply to make our data same for both the values then if we need to find error we will find the error if we need to find maximum loss or profit in the values we will find the maximum profit or loss in the values though here there is no need to find 99 upon 141 in 200 8 upon 188 in 200 91 upon 235 in 200 we can directly observe from the values but for this we will check how we observe the values in the percentage profit loss classes i hope this one is clear i solved my two questions now it's your turn i hope concept is clear to you you have two questions in front of you i would suggest pause the video read both the question and solve both the question i hope you have solved both the questions now check the solutions of these two questions question number three is same as question number one we have rupees 2106 and we should divide a b c we have a b c three parts the should ratio and mistake ratio we have two ratios should ratio is 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 and mistake ratio is nothing but 2 is to 3 is to 4 and all are the values for the same sum so we first need to convert into integral part 2 3 4 lcm is 12 so multiply lcm in the numerator and get the new integral sum that is nothing but 6 is to 4 is to 3 12 by dividing all and the mistake is the integral so it's 2 is to 3 is to 4 the total summation of should is nothing but 13 total summation of mistake is 9 so by 9 so we'll get a b c new ratio value as 54 36 27 and the new mistakes value is nothing but 26 39 and 52 so these are the new ratio values and the new sum is nothing but 13 into 9 13 into 9 is 107 it means we have rupees 117 divided into this should and mistake now check the profit and loss of each 54 got 26 means loss and age in the loss of rupees 28 36 39 means b is in the profit of plus 3 27 and 52 or we can say minus 28 loss plus 3 means profit of 25 rupees or subtracting this so we have profit and loss of each if we have sum is 117 but according to question sum is nothing but 2106 all are the ratio values so first we need to find the so first we need to find the multiplication factor of all these we have to make 2106 and we have 117 divided by this we will get 18 so we can say if we multiply 18 in 117 we will get 2106 and all four are the ratio terms so we need to multiply 18 in all threes and we will get our exact values in rupees so a's loss is 504 negative sign says the loss b's profit is 54 and c's profit is 450 and these are answer for this question first we find the ratio merge the ratio and find the factor form of this or we change 117 to 210 so there is a respective change of all the values and we will get the ratio for some 2106 i hope this one is clear now solve question number four question number four is same as question number two a sum is divided in three persons the should value or the should ratio is what 3a is equal to 4b is equal to 5c so we can say we need to find the simplest form of a is to b is to c if all ratios are same we take the lcm of the numerator that is 3 4 5 is nothing but 60 the lcm is 60 so divide by 60 by each we will get the ratio of a b c is nothing but 20 15 and 12 this is our should ratio now we need to find mistake ratio so now check the mistake ratio mistake ratio is given as a by 2 is equal to b by 3 and 2a plus b upon 3 is equal to c by 4 so from here we can say a by b is nothing but 2 by 3 and from here we can say 2a plus b upon c is 3 by 4 here we have relations common 2a plus b so from here we can find 2a plus b is nothing but 7 how 2 into 2 part of a and 3 part of b is 7 so we have relation 7 and 3 so we multiply 3 from the second relation to first and 7 from the first to second so from here we can say a is to b is to c is 6 
is to 9 is to 28. So we will get both the ratios. One is should ratio, one is mistake ratio. Now merge these two ratios. Our should ratio of A, B and C is 20, 15, 12. Mistake ratio of A, B, C is 6 is to 9 is to 28. The summation of 20, 15 and 12 is nothing but 47. The summation of 6, 9 and 28 is nothing but 43. So the summation of 43 from the second in the first and from the first 47 in second. So we will get the new values in the ratio term is A, B, C, 43 into 20 is 860, 43 into 15, 645, 43 into 12, 516. That is nothing but the should. What is the mistake? 47 into 6, 282, 47 into 9, 423, 47 into 28, 1316. So this is our should ratio in the new terms, mistake in the new terms. So we need to find profit or loss. So here A is in the loss, 860 should be and getting 282 and the loss of nothing but 578. Here B is also in loss, 645 should be and 423 is by mistake, means A is getting less, means loss and loss of triple 2. And here C is in the profit and profit of 800. I hope this one is clear. First we find the ratio, then merge the ratio and getting profit and loss. But our question is we need to find the maximum error. The maximum error is means we need to find error upon the previous term into 100. Because here we have to find maximum error with respect to the previous term. What should be the maximum error? The value which has maximum in numerator and minimum in denominator. So by observation we can say which one is the maximum. But I would say solve all threes now we need to find error of a error of a is 578 out of previous value that is 860 in 200 that is nothing but 65.11 percent error of b is triple two out of 645 in 200 and this is nothing but 34.41 percent error of c is 800 out of 516 into 100 and this one is nothing but 155.03 so our maximum error is with c and this is our answer i hope this one is clear to you so in this learning concept video we find how we find the error if we have ratios in the terms of should and mistake i hope this one is clear to you but still if you feel there is any doubt regarding this video i would say Ping me either on this video thread or on Facebook. Thank you and happy learning.